Another one for a khuf, fear. And we all go through hard times and we are afraid. And as we said, fear is usually from the future or something that's going to happen. And sadness is for something that happened. So for fear, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught us in the Quran to say, Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. Hasbunallah, that we have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't need anybody else. Wa ni'mal wakil, and we leave our hands with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We assign Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take things. Subhanallah. And yet we still say in life, I will rely on Allah, and you or I will rely on Allah than you. Subhanallah. Why do we need anybody once we sit to a to Allah? Subhanallah. We as humans think we need other humans. In reality, we only need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you have Allah, hasbi Allah means all I need is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then yes, we need humans in this life. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us to help each other. But he will send somebody to help us. Rather than we go and ask, when we say hasbi Allah wa ni'mal wakil, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send somebody to help us. Subhanallah. So yes, somebody will help us, but when we leave it in the hands of Allah, He will send somebody and He will send the right person and He will make people help us and happily and willingly help us. Subhanallah. So hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. And if we look at this ayah, when a Muslim, uh, the Muslims have lost the battle in Uhud, and then somebody said that the kuffar is gathering their forces to come and destroy you. Subhanallah. So they came to Rasul and the believers when they have lost the battle in Uhud, that the army of the kuffar is coming now to put an end to Islam. Subhanallah. So the Muslims said, Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. Enough, we have Allah and Allah is enough for us and we leave ourselves. So as the ayah tells us, فَانْقَلَبُوا بِنَعْمَةٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَفَضْلُ وَلَمْ يَمْسَسْهُمْ سُوءٍ فَانْقَلَبُوا Things have changed. Things changed in their favor. بِنَعْمَةٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَفَضْلُ With the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَلَمْ يَمْسَسْهُمْ سُوءٍ And no harm will come to them. To them. وَاتَّبَعُوا رُدْوَانَ اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ وَفَضْلُ الْعَظِيمُ سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ Just by saying حَسْبُنَ اللَّهُ وَنَعْمَ الْوَكِيلُ and as we know, you have to understand we rely on Allah and we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we look at the status of the believers and the status of the munafiqeen in the battle of um, Al-Ahzab, it says about, إِذْ يَقُولُ الْمُنَافِقُونَ وَالَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَدَ مَرَدَ مَا وَعَدَنَ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُ إِلَّا غُرُورًا The munafiqeen, the hypocrites, and those that seek in the heart, when they seen the, uh, the armies of the kuffar and unbelievers coming to destroy them in Al-Madinah, the Munafiqeen says, مَا وَعَدَنَ اللَّهُ رَسُولُ إِلَّا غُرُورًا It was ar arrogance. That's what we were promised. Here they are coming to destroy us, subhanAllah, because there is no belief in their heart. As for the believers, وَلَمَّا رَأَى الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الْأَحْزَابُ قَالُوا قَالُوا هَذَا مَا وَعَدَنَ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُ the believers, when they see the enemies, the armies of the enemies coming to destroy them, this was what was promised. Allah and His Messenger didn't promise an easy life, but He promised hardship. But with this hardship will come strength and will come victory. And it increased their iman. So same same situation. The munafiq says this is ghurur, this is arrogance, we are gone. As the believer, it increased his iman and says this is what we were promised and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fulfill his promise and give us victory, inshaAllah.